like anywhere else, there's so many kids that need help. And that's one of the reasons I'm here in Ferndale is that we have this great group of kids and we have just about every sort of ethnicity. We probably have the widest socioeconomic divide within a, a suburb and we have great mix of uh, majority minority students and it's this great microcosm. If we can make it work here, you can make it work anywhere in the country. As adults, we went to school to learn content, but that's irrelevant in today's world because students at a very young age can get the content on their wrist, on their iPad, on their tablet, computer. We have to switch learning and stop thinking about content and think about thinking, problem solving, and creativity. It's such a good opportunity for Ferndale because, you know, going here for four years, we don't usually get these kind of opportunities. I think it's great that like a high school group of kids can go and present this really cool idea and uh, be noticed for it. How are you? I'm Marcus, thank you for I'm Marcus. being nice Ferndale. to meet you. With this opportunity with CNBC and Universal Studios and Marcus Limonis, we were actually able to take that to the next level and allow our high school students to do what they love to do best, create, problem solve, work together collaboratively in teams, and to move forward and present what they think is the next big thing, something that's close to their heart. The whole concept of uh, starting a business, mm -hmm. thinking about what they want to do as they grow up, mm -hmm. um, and letting themselves down. Sometimes our students, you know... They worry about that. When I started working with the students and started learning about their pitches and helping them with everything, I wasn't surprised the presentations that pr they provided. I was enlightened by them. They surprised us only by the amount of work and effort that they've put into the program. What's up, y'all? What, what class is this? Pre-calc? Pre I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> Marcus visiting Ferndale makes this a reality to the kids. It's not just some lesson we're doing in class or something that you're doing in school. Marcus coming in is really about the kids going, wow, I could be this. I could do this. And more importantly, someone cares about me. Someone I see on TV that I thought would have nothing to do with me, they care about me as a person, they care about what I'm doing. And maybe that's the spark that will get that kid out of their situation at home, or out of them thinking I can't be anybody, and then they'll go to make that difference in the world, and maybe they'll be in the next Marcus. What's the business? It's a skate park slash gym slash uh, arcade. Okay. The reason I came to Detroit was because the same things that you guys go through every day, sort of dealing with adversity, whether it's at home, whether it's in school, whether it's in your neighborhood, whether it's in your community, it's the same way I grew up. When you think about walking up and down your neighborhood and going to different businesses, those businesses have it really tough. They're small businesses, they don't have a lot of money, they don't have a lot of inventory. And so the point that I want to make is that owning a business isn't for everybody. It's not. But trying to do something to better yourself, no matter what it is, is important. I think it's part of the culture of the Detroit area to really think outside the box and to see what they can do. It's a great time for kids in Detroit. We have created a business called Always There Daycare. As stated in the title, it is always there for your convenience. Our business is called Park It. Um, our whole goal was to streamline parking for an everyday consumer. Our business is called The Fit Plate. It's for people who want to lose weight and really stay fit. Our business is the Center for Social Innovative Works. We would provide career training classes for their future.
We started off with about 20 something teams. I had 12 to 13 teams present to an incredible group of judges from our local businesses and teachers and administrators. And the winners are right here. I don't know who the winners are. I'm just as nervous as the kids. <laughs> Second place winner is? Team CSIW. The first place winner is Team Parky. It was a lot of fun to come together to, uh, as a group. Yeah, thank you to Miss Tina for putting this together. It was, it was awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen my show, but I'm 100% in charge, right? Has anybody ever seen that? Yeah. And so I said, well, wouldn't it be cool if we could like do something really different and maybe go somewhere, like on a trip, yeah. like for like five days? So you guys are going to Universal Orlando for five days. You too. Okay? The more I've lived here, the more you start realizing people believe in the people of Detroit. They moved here to make a difference, or they stayed here to make a difference, and it was about the community. The community in Ferndale is phenomenal. Everyone is so welcoming. They're so excited when a small business comes in. I think we definitely want to expand in this area. I have no interest of you know, going outside of Detroit. We'll definitely be here for, for the long haul. I also wanted to do something that I think would benefit uh, the school. So on behalf of uh, the Prophet and CNBC, we're presenting a check to Ferndale High School for $10,000. <laughs> you got it. I would like to believe that students will be part of revitalizing this area. There's been a lot of students who have come through the school in my years here that have proven to do a lot beyond the school wall. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. What I would like to say to Marcus Limonis, the prophet, CNBC, and Universal Studios is thank you.